Is that a true story? That's a true story. That's not a true story, that's a lie. I believe in that idea. It was uncomfortable. Steve said to do it. Here we are, doing it. What's my one concern? You're concerned that I'm not gonna listen to Steve Carlos. I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, oh, I believe in this dream I've been dreaming, oh, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, oh, I believe in this dream I've been dreaming, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Carlos here for our monthly call to help me get to 10 million subscribers and build my business. I've had a two market media day, my friend. Who else do you have? I had, uh, our writer friend in the morning. So you don't remember her name? Oh, okay, Deepa. I didn't know if we were gonna, I didn't know if you wanted me to say names on the, on the channel, but okay. how, how smart is Deepa? Deepa's good. Deepa, Deepa yeah, I mean, she, she gave me some feedback. I, um, she said, hey, I can either rewrite this for you or I could try to coach you, but I've never worked with you before, so I don't know your voice. Like, do, the first one, Steve basically wrote Three quarters of it, anyways. <laughs> Just do whatever you want. Uh, she wanted some. Uh, you might want to give. You might want to give your uh, audience some context, my friend. So gr great. So we're doing a book proposal. I want to do. I just finished a 2019 tour. I want to start 2020 with a, another tour with a new book. East Coast plus Texas, Northern Mexico. I want to make it happen. I'm pushing super aggressive, uncomfortably aggressive for Steve. He's unhappy with me and my pushing. Is that a true story? That's a true story. That's not a true story. That's a lie. That is not a lie. You got upset at me for pushing our, our book. Okay, so let's be honest about the conversation we had. Number one, I love that you're pushing. Okay, good. <laughs> Number two, uh, we had a conversation about once she already responded, so a major publisher, huge publishers that could be perfect for you. Would you agree with that? Have we heard back? Have we heard back? Would you agree with it? It is oh, a... My God, yeah. Steve, you're right. Okay, great. Let's have. <laughs> so the publisher responded in less than an hour to my uh, summary of what we were sending her. Did she not? Yes. And what did she say? He sounds awesome. He sounds like he could be right for us. I'll be away. I will get back to you in a week from Friday when I'm back. Right. I forwarded you that email, correct? Yes. You read the email, and then what did you do? I read the email. Yeah. And then you sent another email introducing me to her. With what? Without that context behind it. No, with the proposal. With the proposal. That said, and said, hey, I, Evan, when you're back, look forward to having the conversation. I don't, I don't, that was not at the top. But regardless. And then didn't. you emailed her right back and said, great to meet you. Yeah. I'm ready to jump on a call uh, now. I'm free tomorrow. <laughs> and I said, you didn't bet. When it makes sense, she's, what are you doing? What's the big deal? She's already told you she's excited. She's away for 10 days. Can, do you mind waiting until I get back? She's being super friendly about it. Oh, did, did she write that back? No, she didn't. Prior to you sending that, yes. It was the right move, dude. It's good. <laughs> so, no, no. Let's, let's just be honest. The only conversation we're having is, why did I say, make fun of you for sending an email to her when she's not telling you already she's going to be away for 10 days? Because you never know, man. You never, you never know. know. The author wants to have a call? Let's do it. Except... Like anything, when somebody who's a person you want to be in business with immediately gets back to you and says, hey, love it, can't wait to review it, I'll be back as soon as I'm back from vacation, I would try to actually be nice about it. I, did, I didn't know that, though. You did too know it. You're making believe you didn't know it. Well, I knew it from you, but she didn't know that I knew that. Unbelievable. Listen, I, she's checking your email on vacation. Check mine. But the point is there that was a percentage have, that we could have hopped on a call. That the point is that, that. The, well, there's a bigger conversation here to be had, which is what we talked about yesterday. Okay. Is that obviously there's no reason you shouldn't get your next book be a major book deal, right? You're even much bigger than you were before your book, right? And well, sure, I mean, with, with honesty, the only thing is the the first book sales versus what 
they'd be looking for. Except the first book sales also, one of the things we talked about was you being more of a marketer and less of just wanting to get your book out there. Right, but they don't have context. They don't know that. They're just going- Well, what they do know, and part of the story is that you were not at a million eight subscribers at, and at six figures in Instagram. This was almost 18 months ago now. Longer, longer, no? Okay, two years. So you're in a different place than you were then and part of the story. So, but the conversation you and I were having, which is an important one, yep. is you know, to not just be a content guy. Your job in order to get to 10 million subscribers to be the household name you should be mm -hmm. is to pay as much attention to the way you market yourself as the content that you're building. And I love the integrity of all your content and of all of your intentions, but you still got to be somewhat of a salesperson. And somewhat of a salesperson, I'm happy being that person, but you got to let me do that then. And that means that part of how you position yourself, you can't just say things like, uh, well, you know, I'm, you know, like, you are, you have to sell me that you're a different guy than you were two years ago. Hey, Mr. Publisher or Mrs. Publisher, I'm rolling now. My platform is a hundred times bigger than it was 18 months ago. And stop just talking about why purpose is so important. Great. Let's do that. No, no, you have to be participating in that idea. I'm, 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 I believe in that idea. I'm participating. And we also know, and I'm happy to, you know, so Nina from Dupree Miller, who's your agent mm -hmm. on this potentially, is also having discomfort in how you'll listen to her on a content perspective. Because you're so busy talking about the content, she's trying to have a bigger discussion with you about how to position it. And she's, she, she knows how nice a guy you are and how well-intentioned you are. So she ends up without saying it and saying something, which is why we put Deepa on it, because Deepa will write stuff about hopefully, and what she's great at and has done this over and over again, is positioning you from a marketing standpoint as the legend that you are, as opposed to just getting caught up in the idea. Well, you look so sad. Do I look sad? Oh, yeah. I'm not sad. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. That was a great, it was a good call. Is it because you can't move your head and you're in pain? I can't. Well, I can move. I have to, I have to move my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no mobility on the neck or the head right now. Especially now, it's all tight. I'm at a stand-up desk. My entire back is like frozen. I'm not used to standing at all. I went from sitting on the couch all day long to sitting. You really can't sit down? Uh, well, my computer is, all, I mean, I can, but we just got back and I've been prioritizing working over setting up my work environment. Okay, so... Deepa's going to try to get that proposal into a place that's going to be, from a marketing perspective, sexier, correct? Yep. yep. I, I sent her some stuff. I owe her, she also wants me to send her three books as to, she asked her two things. One, three kinds of people that I helped. It was kind of like example stories. Yep. Who went through the process. Yep. Uh, and then three books that address purpose, but don't do it well. Address the topic, but don't do it well. Yes. Okay, good. What's missing? So I got to find three books and say what's missing in these books. And okay, why good. Is, why mine is better. That's what she okay, wants. Good. Does that sound doable or you need help doing that? No, no, no. The stories were a little more, I had to think about it because I wanted to have different demos and problems and stuff. I sent yep. it to her and I sent her different styles just to, like, what style do you want? You want it like this, this, or this? And then I can do the others. Okay, got it. Um, and the books I'll go through. I'll go through. We'll get her something soon. Okay, good. What do you think of the odds of this book getting sold in time? In time for what? In time for your make-believe deadline? Yeah. So we're having a conversation about what do I think are the odds yeah, of yeah, you yeah. selling this book yeah. in time for your make-believe deadline? Yes. It's a real deadline. What's the deadline again? What make-believe deadline is? I forget. Ideally, it's out December 6th. And then I'm on my tour, January, about the same thing, January 12th. So the tour that isn't set up yet, right? It's already set up. Like, go look at my website. The tour page has been updated. 2020 tour coming soon. So we, we have to talk about that too. We we'll see. Sure that, that hits the next level. You're not doing the same thing again. Good. Well, well that, that was the idea. It wasn't supposed to be the same thing. It's supposed to be no, out. It, it was better than it could have been, right? What do you mean? Well, 
you, 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 you charge money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were more blatant about promoting it, right? Mm-hmm. We even tried in some cities and a bunch of cities, and it worked sometimes and didn't work others to help have people get, get people there, right? That didn't really, well, one city, I guess. But well, it, was, it was a good cities. experiment. That's not true. Two or three cities at work. Utah, LA. Just so difficult. <laughs> so difficult. Okay. Not difficult. So, You're talking about people, you know. So, but but having people look, having people do uh, the warm up for me, you know, was your suggestion? Okay, whatever. Let's do it. Did you like that? I thought that's something you wanted to end up doing in your new tour. Um, possibly. I was thinking about having as like a collab, like at the front. But yes, I don't know how much that person can end up bringing people, or maybe it's the right person. Oh, okay. yeah, the point okay. is. It was, I was, it was uncomfortable. Steve said to do it. Here we are doing it. You're unbelievable. <laughs> right? So in, right respect, in retrospect, are you happy that you charged? Uh, I'm happy that I charged for the, for the un- discomfort of it. For the size of event. Like if we do the book one next year, run the new book at a bookstore. We're not doing it at a bookstore. We're not going to do it at a bookstore? Bookstores are horrendous. I don't know if you know this. There's barely any bookstores alive. Uh, whatever. Great. We're not going to do a bookstore. We're going to do something else. I love it. Let's do it. Tell me what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Let's go, Steve. Okay. Let's come back to the, the, the previous conversation we were having, which is so. What are the percentages? What are the chances of having your yes. book sold in time for your make believe deadline? A hundred percent. Okay. Ninety to ninety-five percent. That's pretty good. I agree. That- that's higher than I thought you would have said, to be honest. Okay, but, but what did we talk about? There's one, what was, what's my one concern? You're concerned that I'm not going to listen to Steve Carlos. Oh, no, that's not my concern. <laughs> my concern is the same thing, is that we're selling a book idea. While I like the idea, it ain't fucking unique. And we have a major, major publisher interested in you the package of Evan Carmichael. If she says no, which there's no reason she should say no, do we agree that there's only one reason she would say no? She doesn't like the idea. She doesn't like the first book sales. No. I'm not even about the first book sales. I'm telling you, the first book sales are fine for where you are today. I can sell that story left and right. Okay, then she doesn't like the book. She doesn't like the idea. It's not unique or original. Right, there's right. not a special hook there. What I'm concerned about is that you're so busy wanting to do a book around an idea that you haven't, that if we didn't spend time really creating something unique and sexy before we just start taking the action. Okay. Why are you smiling? Because I love it. I think that's the best way to go, dude. <laughs> you could just throw something out there that's mediocre and make it as great as possible. How about putting something out there that's great and then making it as great as possible? No, then it, the, no, because you still start with putting something out there. No. I like it. No. Deeds. Let's go. Momentum. Momentum. We've got momentum. Uh, by the way, we have momentum until we don't. And if this publisher comes back yeah. and says, I don't like this, it's, they're, not, they're not talking about you, Evan Carmichael. They're talking about your idea. I got it. Great. Hey, listen, I have lots of bad ideas. Tons. I want to focus on a great idea. So we're going to then have the conversation about what's a sexy hook. I have some ideas already, but I'm not going to share them with you. Oh, how come? Because there's nothing to do yet. If she comes back and says, let's do a deal, we're going to do a deal. But it's, it's, good, it's good education for me, no? You're here, to, you're here to teach me, wise Carlos. Wow. What's a sexy hook? I didn't know the Canadians have that level of condescension. It hurts my feelings. No, no, I'm, 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 I, it's, it's true. I mean, I'm saying it in a jokey way, but I respect you. So you had a day with two market media. You spoke to Deep on the book. Did you also speak to Anna about your coaching program? Yes. And where did we get? We're pretty close. Okay. Uh, the discussion actually wanted your feedback. The discussion Mm -hmm. moved to turning it into, uh, uh, ongoing, a course, a course course, and then selling, um, one-on-one time to go deeper. I agree with that. Very high end. So, so having a, 
uh, I think she wanted to make it eight or 10 week course, but a video prepackaged course, instead of it being a group, like mastermind or mentoring kind of thing where I'm with them for an hour, it's a video course of me sharing the content that they need to learn, giving them homework exercises. And then if they want, whether the access is bundled in or it's an extra thing on top. Yeah. Uh, that's where it was starting to go. So like, Oh, I like okay. it. I okay. like it a lot. No, I like it a lot. And for, you might want to again, give your audience context. I thought you were a show host. So we're looking at making a YouTube course, teaching people, thought leaders, speakers, experts, how to build a brand, make a business, start making money using YouTube, basically taking all the hacks. Why, why are we doing that? Because uh, I'm great at it. That's correct. People how to do it. You're the best at it. How about that? <laughs> uh, yeah, so she said uh, she was gonna talk to you, but she was a little sick today. Yeah, uh, she said that you were gonna pull a number that you are great at pulling pricing out of the air for this. That's almost her like exact words. So how much are we gonna charge for this, Steve? I need to talk to her, I'll get you and we'll talk about that. Okay, so she's looking at, I wanna say like she's squishing it down to like eight. It was supposed to be a four week boot camp or something, now she wants to make it an eight week. I think eight weeks is too long, I think six weeks is probably better. And I do of course, great. Uh, 995. Okay. Or twelve ninety five discounted to seven ninety five or eight ninety five, something like that. It's really just a matter of how long each video is, and then how in depth I go on each thing. Yeah, agreed. And then what what level of support you give them? Uh, you know, uh, we need to give them a private Facebook group. We got to give them some weekly Q and A at least, so that they're engaged and you're helping them. Right, but popping in on a Facebook group is different than, than everybody gets one on one time. We're going to dissect. Yeah, you know, it's not one-on-one time. It's simply, uh, it's simply inside of uh, a Facebook group and then a Q&A. So there is some version of one-on-one -on -one time. It's just one-on-one -on -one time within the context of a group. Right. And then it's sold constantly. It's not only like in Correct. this cohort going together. Yes, it's rolling rather than launch. Right. Yeah, because a launch is a pain in the ass, and then you have to redo the launch. <laughs> can't laugh. My sides hurt. My back, everything hurts so much just standing up and now you're making me laugh, Steve. I'm cramping up big time here. I gotta tell you, my entire company sat together and watched your video with Nina getting out of bed. Oh, that was your idea too. <laughs> yeah. Steve, Steve made me, I, I told Steve about how basically I couldn't put my pants on and Nina had to help me do everything after I broke my neck. And so he said, you got to film that. Like what? Film, film me in my, in my underwear, get my pants put on. It's like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Listen, I just want I'm telling you, dude. Steve says. You know, what the power, you know what the power of that was, though? It shows that you are always a half full guy. You always have a good energy, a positive outlook, which I love about you. Dude, I'm way more than half full. That's disgusting. Okay, so uh, you're full full. You're, not, you're always full full. We're full full. I, I'm sorry you didn't like. Uh, my compliment. I apologize for my compliment right? fully. Please respect. How you like it? Half full. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm, I'm one of the most full, full people you have ever known. I agree with that, by the way. You know who else is one of the most full, full people you will ever know? Who? Me. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just the street version of that. You got too much New York in you. That's the New York version of full. The New York full. version. It's true, actually. Steve's, Steve's re under that tough exterior is a very good guy. Um, okay, so YouTube course coming along. She's going she's gonna to package it together and send you something and then send me something. So but she has great questions. I told you I'll have an update for you on some of the big names we talked about for getting you interviews. Okay. Um, I talked to your, after Anna, I talked to your to friend in Utah. Giving advice on his Oh, channel. yeah, Garrett. Yes, Garrett Gunderson, yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> We're not allowed to mention names? I don't know. It's up to you. They're your clients. I love Garrett. Uh, Garrett's terrific, and Garrett very much values your help, and I appreciate it. Yeah, he's coming. He's, he's, his new stuff is looking good. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. New thumbnails coming out, longer videos. The team is, like, they're, they're picking it up. 
Looking good. I'm excited to see where he goes. And then now I'm here talking to you. It's it's the two market media day. I'm very honored. So what are we missing? That's it. I gotta go. I love you. All right. Thanks, man. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. I'll leave. If you want to see Steve coach me and kick my butt the last time we spoke, go check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.